Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition um, where we love talking about, well, board games. And today is a particularly exciting day um, as the arrival of Bonfire has happened in my house. Um, and Bonfire, if you hadn't heard of it already, is the newest offering from Stefan Feld. He actually has two new games out this month, which is breaking my wallet, but also increasing my excitement levels way, way over the top. So um, Bonfire, as you can see, is in a quite a long and narrow box. It's from Pegasus Spiele. And it is a game that's supposed to take 70 to 100 minutes to play. That's pretty um, specific. And it's for one to four players. Um, and in this unboxing, we're gonna look inside of it. I don't know what's in it yet. Um, and hopefully we'll learn a little bit more about the game and you can have a look at all the components with me. So first things first, very quickly, flip over the back. Um, this is a heavy box. A really, really, really heavy box. Oh, wow, look, you can kind of see it's actually popping out of the box. It's very really heavy. And looking at the back of it here, you can see, oh, it looks a little bit like Aquasphere if you strike that, perhaps. There's something about this portion. I do love a rondelle and a good dry euro. Okay, into the box. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and we are greeted with a bag of wooden components. Um, cool, we'll have a look at those um, in more detail soon. We also have a very conspicuously loose bag of small cards. Why did I call it a bag when really it's in a wrapper? Okay, we'll have a look at those. The art's kind of cool. A whole host of baggies. Never enough of those for us drug-fueled board gamers. And we have, please say the rule book, because it's blank at the front. Spiel material, so this is the rule book in German. Never enough rule books, and hopefully this is the one in English or I'd be very disappointed. Yes, game component list. So this feels quite, you know, cheap, I suppose. It's the kind of usual paper stuff, kind of waxy stuff. There's plenty of diagrams and things, which is really, really cool. Have a quick look through this. And it's not too long either, actually. Okay, so my favorite part of the box is usually the game board. Let's see how big this thing is. Oh, it's very long and as you can see if i turn it the right around it's got a beautiful beautiful artwork from the cover is here on the back which is nice and then the actual board itself we're gonna have to put this sideways for you guys look how well, it's very big it's quite narrow it's very pretty god that's some very nice art um something you're kind of not used to expecting in euro games but it looks good doesn't it so obviously this big round dough i'm calling it a round dough i will until i know better section then there's all these islands with symbols very kind of Luna vibes, right? With all the the whole moons on the cover, on the numbers. Okay, what's next? Did I fold that correctly? Those always worry me if I fold them right or not. Okay, so in one, oh my God. There is this much cardboard. Lots and lots of cardboard. So we'll go through it kind of quickly. And I'll, hopefully I will pop some stuff out and we can have a real look at it. So we're starting with what looks like a, a game board. Okay. I'm gonna go pop it out now while I'm here. It's very nice thick cardboard. Oh, it's got another side too, but it's it's empty. So I wonder, does it flip over? Very cool, okay. So it's nice to see that the cardboard is really, really solid here for a change. That's always a positive. We have some of these beautiful tokens. Nice, it's some upside down diamonds. See, they're lit on one side. It's like they get used up because they're bright here, but dark here. Okay, maybe they're like finite resources. I'm going to a series of small little tokens. These tokens are just as nice as the main board. They're nice and thick. What do you guys think of the artwork about this? It's kind of dark and bright all at the same time. Oh, so there's another one of these. Maybe we all get one as players. I just like the little seats around them. It's very kind of, I don't know. Knights of the Holy Grail kind of thing, isn't it? Everyone's sitting around in their thrones. Okay, so there's two of those. We'll see if we actually have enough for each player. Okay, more tokeny bits. So we've got these nice circly goldy ones, more tiny people ones, some tiny kind of similarly ones. Oh, and this is like a, a sele action selection row. Um, is, are they multiple colors? So we have gray. Whoops, that was a token. And grey, okay, maybe not. I thought maybe, oh, well, they're blue tokens. I was hoping some of it would look like it was player stuff, but it's hard to tell right now, isn't it? So now we have more tokens, these diamondy things, which are super, super pretty, but more tokeny bits. Right. 
I kind of love doing these unboxings without knowing what everything is. It gives it all an air of mystery. It makes the game a little bit more exciting when you're not sure what all the components are. Definitely looks like each player is getting one of these. We definitely have enough of those now. Lots and lots of those diamond things. Oodles of them and lots and lots of tokens. So I wonder what kind of setup this is going to have with this many tokens. Still going through the boards. Here's another one. Loads of those. They're very pretty though, aren't they? Okay, so we've got more tokens, more of these kind of, here's all the actions you can do. Um, that lady looks like she needs a little bit of help. She's like, help, and that one's just waving at you wildly. Okay, more same kind of tokens. Lots of, oh my God, so many tokens. To rival castles of Burgundy, I don't know. We'll have to see them all out together. So that is all of the cardboard pieces. So why don't I look more closely at some of the smaller components? Okay, so the first thing I noticed straight out of this bag of crazy stuff is these little people right here. They're like waving their arms while they's like, help. Anyway, they're basically going, help, save me, uh, these little people. So that's kind of cool. So there's a couple of different colors of these. I see one in pink, I see some in green, some in blue. It's a really nice shade of green, by the way, slightly off color. Ooh, we have something that looks suspiciously like... For a moment I thought it was a starfish, but now it just looks like a star. I'm okay with a star. Um, we got these guys that look suspiciously like a baby Yoda. Um, or like a Viking. I don't know, what do you guys think? Will they put baby in the game? Okay, see now that we've had the star thing, I can't help but think this, this one looks like a pineapple. Um, <laughs> so we see there's more of those people in each colour, so that's kind of cool. What else is down here? Some leaves. So it's like you could build an entire pineapple out of this. Right. Oh, oh, these look like, I think it depends what way around you put them. So like people with hats or maybe a boat, maybe a boat. Okay. Um, and they do seem to be in each of what looks like the player colors. There's plenty of them. Have I missed anything out now? Why do you guys think these colors are pretty psychedelic considering the board is quite, you know, dark? And ominous. Yeah, there seems to be everything. There's the discs for each player and boats in each color. Um, so yeah, they're kind of cool. All right, let's move on to the next bit, which is all of the tiny cards. Okay, so these teeny tiny cards um, have the cool kind of bonfire motif going on on the back of all of those, which is kind of nice. Oh, on top of these ones. Right, and then what's these ones? These ones look like so far how you win the game or how you would get victory points, I would assume. Let's have a peek on the back of those. Oh, did this, are they the same on both sides? They are! Interesting. So yeah, that looks like victory stuff. I always like those in a game. It's always nice to have reminders for what you should be doing. And then the back of these is like a tree. A very beautiful, beautiful tree. Um, oh, oh, and it comes in different colours. That one has like yellow lights. This one has blue lights. Okay, so there's very few of these. So let's see what's actually on the front of them now that I've looked at the back. So the one with the kind of bonfire motif seems to be okay like special actions or something like that or special rules two of those turn into one of those okay i like that there's little boats on the top of these little trees on the top of these ones you guys can see that kind of cool all right so these do seem like some sort of rules i think that might be in play that's my guess okay so we'll go with the blue backed ones next and these have this read. Oh, wow. I thought they were all going to be the same art. They're not. There's multiple art pieces. And I really like it. That looks so cool and interesting. And obviously these guys have special abilities or things on them, perhaps. Oh, look at them. These are fabulous. I really, really, really like the art. Very nice. And they seem to, like, they're, they've got different symbols. Maybe they're, like, from different groups. So, like, that's the shell group. That's the leaf group. That's the twisted ginger group. <laughs> flowers yeah they do seem to kind of match up a bit don't they they're beautiful they're really really nice the quality of the cards is actually quite good too um like they're fairly you know waxy cards but they're definitely durable and then the last section so we have some of these yellow backed cards i'm calling them yellow oh these look like the elders of each color yet again i'm guessing with all of this but i like the guessing maybe you'll guess with me so before you like go and read what the game's actually about i want to hear your guesses what did you think all of this stuff was to do with Okay, so these are very pretty actually. I like these a lot. So that is all of the tiny cards in the game. Let's put everything back into the box and see how it fits. 
So one can only assume that when you pop out the cardboard for this game, you're just gonna end up with baggies full of components. And there are a lot of cardboard components and no storage options whatsoever. Um, and this seems kind of typical of your average Euro game where they don't seem to worry about where you put all your stuff. But it does fit back in kind of well. This will be a box full of baggies um, before you know it. Um, but Bonfire, I have to say, looks really, really interesting. And I'm very excited. I love the art choices. I didn't think I'd be saying that about it. A felled game. Um, I don't know how much this theme or that is going to go through it. I never even checked to see what the game was about, did I? No. See, the magical bonfires have died out. The ancient cities are abandoned. The world is sunk into twilight. So we're supposed to be watching over bonfires. It's a multifaceted and demanding game. Fair enough. <laughs> Um, yeah, with Feld, I suppose you don't worry too much about the theme, do you? But it would be, it's nice to have like a pleasant setting to play in. So are you as excited about Bonfire as I am? Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And w if you like um, what I do, why not like or subscribe to the channel? I know it sounds really generic and ordinary, but hey, maybe you want to see more of my stuff. Maybe you don't, who knows? But thank you for watching today. And tune in again next time um, when I do usually more short and informative board game reviews and occasionally unbox things that I find exciting and think you might want to see. So thank you for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.